They don't have kids, coach. Oh, that's there right. Joey, I know NFL buck season's over. You got nothing to do. Right. Good to see you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I thought, um, you know, that that's that was us. That's what we used to do to people night in, night out. You know, I thought uh, the ball moved. We made extra passes. We shared it well. We kept them in front of us. So it was a good good win heading into conference tournament. Twenty second win of the season. Um, we'll take the next two days off and practice uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, play Tuesday. So that's our that's our plan. That's our schedule. Um, I know there's a lot of games being played tonight. We won't know. You know, we'll we'll just worry more about us, like we have been these last three days and the last two weeks. And I think it just showed that uh, the ball didn't stick in the first half. The ball moved. We shared it. You know, so I'm really happy for uh, for them to finish the year here um, on a good note at home. Having taken care of business these last five games, which you said you had to do, do you think you you're in the NCAA? Yes. No oh, shit. Yeah, there's no question. It would be a travesty if we wouldn't be in. But again. You know, if you remember those 07 year, 09 year, I don't know, we've been on the wrong side of the bubble four times. But I think we've controlled what we can control. We we went out and, and scheduled one of the best schedules in the entire country. We challenged this group. They did what they were supposed to. You know, now you have all these metrics with the net, the offensive efficiency, the defensive efficiency, where the RPI before was strength of schedule. You know, your opponent's strength of schedule and whether you won or lost games. We've won games. We've won 22 of them. That's pretty good. And I don't know. We got a we got a lot of top 100 wins and two top 25 wins. So if you put a blind resume on, I, I, you know, I'm, I don't have to. I don't think I got a politic for this group. Now we can't we can't go to the conference tournament and go lay an egg the first round. <laughs> we've played. We've, we've been in this league. What? In, in this is our ninth year in the conference. In the eight years we've been in this league, we've played in five championships games, won one, lost two semifinals to Connecticut and one to Louisville. So we've been in the semifinals every single year. So. so you, you will go to the conference tournament as a defending champion with the way you played tonight, particularly in the first half. Do you have a lot of confidence you can go there and take care of your business? Well, I mean, you gotta you got to congratulate UCF on the year they've had. You know, we played them twice, and you know there wasn't a doubt. They did everything, and you know again they were waiting a whole year for that. So um, they won the regular season title. Now uh, conference tournament, it's the automatic bid, right? I mean our kids remember uh, the joy and the excitement after winning that, and everything that goes by it. But we got the seven ten game, and then the three seed. They take care of their business on the other side, and then whoever, whoever in the championship game. But the most important game is the next one. But you got to feel pretty good going to the conference tournament after we, how we played today. Coach, a perfect time for the shooting stroke to come back, huh? Yeah, it's a good time. Ball went in the basket. Things go. It's a lot easier when when you get rewarded for your defense on the other end. You know. We're in the past. We're just defending and defending and grinding and defending and rebounding and not getting your your return on the other end. And today we got the return. Obviously, uh, you're going to play a lot of basketball in three days, and you're going to need a lot of different folks to, to especially rotation wise, just for you guys to be able to put this one away, kind of in the first half and play as many folks as you did. It's got to be nice for conditioning for them and making sure they're ready to go. Yeah, but you know what? At this time of the year, everybody's tired. You know, everybody's tired. Everybody's logged in, logged a lot of hours. So, you know, if you don't get excited at this time of the year, it's a big problem. You know, same way I tell our kids, if you know, the teams that have bad first practices, they're gonna have a bad year. You know, <laughs> so you need to you need to be excited because it's an exciting time. 
Coach, we talked about how these last this last like month there's been a lot of dog fights for you guys down to the wire. How nice is it to just come out and have a game where in the third and fourth quarter you're kind of cruising to the end, have a nice nice cushion? Well, I mean there's a lot of teams that in the country that would have lost the games that we won. So that's a positive. Because you good teams find a way to win. They find a way to execute out of timeouts. They don't have breakdowns on special situations, you know. Uh, they don't have breakdown in coverages. So, for us, we did all the right things in those close games to win them. I was going to ask you what flipped the switch tonight, but I think you answered. It sounds like your defense set up your offense, correct? Yeah, well, the defense is always, we've always been, if you look at our scores, I think we've defended people really well all year. But the other end, we haven't gotten the reward for defending the way that we did. Cool. Cool. Having a performance like tonight where the ball's going in the basket a lot compared to, to the past few weeks, how does that you know help morale, help the mentality going to the AAC tournament? Well, well, you'd have to ask them that question. It was good. It was good to see the ball go in the basket. And that, you know, some of these games we've played lately have been rock fights. It's been terrible. If I was watching on TV, I'd change the channel. Coach, it really is how you start at this point. 17 and 2 when leading uh, before halftime, at halftime, if you will. So talk about that a little bit. Your team gets out to a fast start, usually it's a win, right? Yeah, well, uh, you know, and that's what we talked to them about halftime. You know, I thought that we wanted to get out and win the first five minutes and then close quarters. And I think we did that in the first and second quarter. No update on Maria. She's getting, she'll be getting an MRI tomorrow morning. Coach, 1,000 points. I don't care if you're in the rec league. That's huge. How important <laughs> is it getting 1,000 points? I got 1,000 in the rec league. You got what? I got 1,000 in the rec league. You, you did? <laughs> <laughs> How long was the season? <laughs> long games. <laughs> <laughs> well, pot belly leagues don't count. Well, we got it. You know what? You got, you got Sydney Harvey. I mean, she got her thousands. You got guys who can put the ball in the basket. L. I don't know how many Betty has. No, you know, we got. You don't win twenty-two games if you don't got good players. We got good players, guys. You know, so there's a lot of coaches out there that 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 are unemployed that are good coaches because they don't got good players. You know, we got good players. Now, I think we get the most out of our players, too. You can have a lot of talent and not get the best out of them either. So, I think I think we, we have some very talented kids, and today they played really well together. They played with a lot of joy, a lot of passion. A lot of, it was a fun atmosphere. It was good to see. It's good for them. So, Elena Shinecki, you know, she got her thousand. She had a very productive game. Could you speak about not only tonight or this season, but just the, the body of work? Well, doing? you know what? Here, here's the thing. It was either giving her a ball the next home game next year, but I think I knew, I figured she was going to get. She needed ten points, so we got her ball done. So <laughs> we're going to get her ten points some way or another. What she, what she meant to the team the last three years. That she's she's done been with great. Her. You know, I think, uh, you know, Elle's, uh, Elle's her hardest critic. Elle's very hard on herself, and most guys that are really, really good take stuff personal. She take. I mean. That's the type of player she is. That's why she's really good. Talk about Betty and what she means to your team. 32nd double-double of her career, 16 and 10 tonight. I mean, she's a force. She, I thought she'd set the tone early in those first two, three minutes. She was engaged. She rebounded. She had a couple putbacks. Um, she's, meant, uh, she's meant a great deal to our program. I mean, I think, I think well, there's a reason why she's on all the lists she is nationally, you know. So... Uh, hopefully she can take care of her body and she stays healthy and continues to play this game for a long time. Coach, is your conference this year kind of like the Rodney Dangerfield of women's basketball getting no respect at all? <laughs> uh, no, you know what? <laughs> you went way back. What was that uh, movie when Rodney Dangerfield was in college? That was, that was cool. That was some good shit right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. They filmed that down in uh, yeah, in Grand Oaks down there in South Florida. Caddy shot. Caddy shot. That was <laughs> so, you know what? Hey, I, we got the six. We're ranked out of 32 conferences. I think we're what five, fifth, or sixth in the country. 
So. And nobody in the top 25. Yeah, UCF is. One poll, not the other. Yeah, well, that's okay. So the, the last poll is the one that matters. That's right. Did you guys find an extra year of eligibility for Dulcie, or did you guys know about it? For Dulce? Oh, no, no, we knew about Dulce before the season started. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.